<laughs> can get it up there. Hey, oh, oh, okay. you win. 40 what? 41? 47. Ah! 47.3. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, yeah, ultra light. 30 pounds. Yeah. Try, try. It can't be more than mine, so you're fine. That's true. I think mine's a little bit lighter, but who knows? We might get this up here. Oh, God. Nice! 38. Hell yeah! 38. Nice. That is so much lighter. Than my original? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't scare me. <laughs> Starting to get a lot of moulin popping up. So it's very soft to the touch. Good morning. Hiking out of Uncle Johnny's this morning and beginning the long climb to Unica Mountain. A couple of exciting things. Get to see Beauty Spot today. Unbelievably excited for that. Um, I think we might try and camp up there if it feels right. But if we get up there and we're like, eh, this isn't the move, then we're going to push and camp on top of Unica Mountain. Um, weather looks pretty good. And then also, I just got recognized on the trail again. I had an amazing conversation with uh, Frank and Jack, uh, who are really kind and have been friends for over 50 years and have hiked this stretch of trail a billion times. So that was really cool. Thank you for chatting with us. Frank and Jack, it was so awesome to meet you guys. Beautiful weather today. Very sad to be leaving Irwin, Tennessee. It is a very cool town and everybody is very nice, but I'm so excited to get back on trail. Weather's beautiful. And I am doubly excited to finally, finally, finally go see the Rhone Highlands. Have a few updates. The first one is about that dog that we found in the street yesterday. Owner was found. Uh, funny story, <laughs> that dog is apparently notorious for running out into the street and looking lost so that it can get rides from people in cars. So the owners were very unsurprised <laughs> when that dog was brought home. Um, extremely cute dog. The owners should probably put it on a line, but very cute. Second update, sadder update. We lost Nutter Butter today. He had to go home. He was never through hiking. He was always just going to hike for, you know, six-ish weeks and then get off trail. So we'd been preparing for this moment, but it didn't make it any easier. Sad goodbyes this morning. We did eat a lot of Domino's pizza and watch a lot of movies at Uncle Johnny's. So it was a nice send off, but just sad. And uh, Worm Queen went home too. I wasn't there to say goodbye, but we did get dinner in uh, Irwin, so I was able to see Irwin last time before she went home to Newfoundland. Um, but yeah, slightly less folks I know out on trail now, but I'm hiking around with uh, Gadget and Soap still, and we've got a good squad of people in this bubble, so just sad. But you know, I think it's also the beauty of the trail, is that you do have these fleeting moments of meeting really wonderful people and spending so much time with them in this very unique place and then they're gone or they hike ahead or they get off trail and you just have to be grateful for the moments that you did have. So I'm very grateful for the moments I had with Nutter Butter and Worm Queen and I'm really gonna miss them but they're not gone so I'll see them when I get off trail. Just about three miles until we get to Beauty Spot. Getting very excited.
felt pretty surreal. I'm not gonna lie. That was really cool. I've always, uh, I always looked forward to seeing Beauty Spot. You know, I saw it in the Hampshire's videos, and I was like, man, that place looks beautiful. I hope we get to camp out there. And it would. This is actually like a pretty well shielded area from the wind. But you know what? I've heard really good things about the top of Unica Mountain. People call it an enchanted forest, and it is a wooded summit. So I am very excited to go see that too. So we're gonna go camp up there. But that was that was pretty sick. I am spirits at a time. So I've got about a thousand feet of elevation to do. And I was told that the top of Unica Mountain is a bunch of evergreen trees. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that I'm going up there. This is so cool. Far out said that this place was like an enchanted forest. Yeah, I get that comparison. This one? Yes. Okay. So good morning. We're taking over Jess's vlog today. <laughs> Just like trails. Just like trails. <laughs> Gadget this morning. We are doing 14 ish miles to yes. Little Knob. Little Rock. Maybe. Little Rock. Um, Little Rock Knob Vista, maybe. Somewhere over there. Yes. Um, we did 14 yesterday up to Lily Knock Mountain. It was beautiful. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful weather today. It's like mid 50s and we're hiking and we're still hiking and we're hiking forever and we hike forever and ever. And, and we keep hiking and, yeah. and we're, we're going to hike, hike right now. Right now. <laughs> gusts are up to 35 miles an hour for the next few days and we're heading up into the Rhone Highlands where, you guessed it, it's extremely exposed and very windy. So going to be worth it. A little flush of ramps right next to the trail. You know there are ramps because when you pick them, they smell like wild onions. about 0.4 to go but it's like 400 feet of elevation so 
I'm hiding in the bushes. <laughs> Mind if we comment? Should we do something? Just keep looking really interesting. Are you recording? Okay, all right, that's good. Okay, do that for like 10 more seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I can't ponder for that long. <laughs>